Welcome uh, to the next lecture in the series Bridges to the Future. And today I will introduce you to a unique kind of bridges located usually in city centers. Those are bridges for which we must have special requirements. Why? I will explain it during uh, the lecture. Uh, these kind of bridges show that we, I mean bridge engineers, should have a lot of in, a lot in common uh, with architects. Uh, this is how it is my personal life as well professional life, uh, and I'm and I'm very happy about it because we can't fight and degrade each other, but we definitely definitely we should cooperate and collaborate. Uh, I will try to show you that bridges uh, can also change our cities as do architects. Uh, we will start uh, by briefly discussing the functions of city bridges. Um, I will show what influence uh, bridges have on shaping the, the urban order of cities. Uh, I will give you some examples of uh, landmarks um, and the use of bridges to promote the uh, potential of, of cities, regions or even, even uh, countries. Uh, we will see how to how important it is is to adopt a human to a human scale in the designing of, of urban bridges. Um, a large area of symbolism associated uh, with bridges will be presented also. And finally, uh, what happens uh, when designing bridges? We focus only on their one most important function, which is undoubtedly to provide the road to the other side of the obstacle. Uh, but is there a chance to build a bridge that will become an important object in the urban landscape in this way? Bridges have always fulfilled several functions at the same time. Of course, the very basic necessity was crossing to the other side of the obstacle. Over time, technical capabilities uh, allowed to cover greater distances. Uh, and these forced designers, bridge engineers to use bolder solutions. For this reason, uh, bridges are often uh, regarded today as an indicator of progress and engineering skills. And a symbol of the even, even a symbol of economic uh, potential of a city, region, or a country. Therefore, many city bridges have become the most important objects in their cities. Sometimes attractions uh, that attract tourists and even characteristic elements uh, of the city, city landscape. We can say landmarks or even icons. Uh, thanks to which it is recognized I mean, the city is recognized. A typical city bridge, as opposed to a motorway bridge or a railway bridge, uh, for example, also serves uh, pedestrians and therefore has to meet additional safety and comfort conditions for people for people using it. And thus, several key functions of the city uh, city bridge can be designated. The first as communication, connection between urban areas separated by, by an obstacle. A second, uh, forming, uh, forming a new urban order in the city. Uh, third, creating an image of the place. Next, demonstration of contemporary technical capabilities of the region. Uh, creating a a human-friendly object in a human scale. Mm, regardless, the bridge also has symbolic, symbolic significance. It is an element uh, connecting two different or distant persons or communities. Uh, now, uh, I'd like to show you a number of examples that, in my opinion, will illustrate the functions of the city bridge uh, listed here and allow you to confirm the thesis about the multifunctionality of these objects. However, 
however we will start from the from the second point namely the impact um, on the on the urban order of the city as communication is beyond the discussion um, let's start uh, let's start the presentation from budapest in, in which the construction of the first permanent bridge uh, led to the creation of a completely new urban organism. You must know that Budapest is one of the youngest European capitals. Uh, the first unsuccessful attempt to connect Buda and Pest uh, was carried out in uh, 1829 by Kant Easton Szczecini, who was distinguished for Hungary. Uh, he founded the Budapest Associ Association of Bridges and in 1840 uh, 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 initiated the construction of the first permanent, uh, permanent Danube crossing. Uh, it was however very short. During the Hungarian uprising from uh, 1984, uh, the three city, in fact, not only two cities, but three, uh, Buda, Obuda and Pest, uh, was unified, but after its suppression, uh, the merger was abandoned. Uh, it was only the beginning of construction of the second permanent bridge, already in the time of Austria-Hungary Empire. Uh, that became an excuse for the official creation of, of one city, which is called today Budapest. Today, uh, both parts of the city are connected by nine bridges located exactly in the city center. Seven road bridges and two railway. However, uh, uh, this is still not enough for the place gathering all Hungarian routes. Uh, the location of the first bridges was often determined by hydrological and geotechnical conditions. Uh, lack of uh, three space in in the hilly and rocky Buda, where is old city and the castle, and and of course the technical capabilities that engineers had in mid 19th century. Uh, just uh, look at the map of Budapest to see how the new urban order of of the of then dynamically developing past this right part of the city adapted to the location of all new bridges. Uh, the second example of showing the impact of bridge construction on city uh, development is, is the Brooklyn Bridge and Manhattan District in New York. Uh, this is most expensive the mo and most attractive part of the metropolis, which is also an island changed uh, a lot after each subsequent bridge or tunnel connecting it with, with the mainland or the rest of the city. The Brooklyn Bridge over the East River, uh, which is at that time of opening in 1883, uh, that was the longest suspension bridge uh, and had the greatest impact on the, on the Manhattan and New York. For many years, neo-Gothic pylons dominated the whole of New York City, uh, just like uh, real estate prices overlooking the bridge. Anyway, uh, probably many of you looking for an attractive photo or a poster to hang on the wall had the opportunity to hold in hand a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge, hadn't you? Uh, this is this is Manhattan, where today there are many more bridges, and and new ones are still being erected, as uh, this one, uh, a new Kosciuszko Bridge connecting Polish Greenpoint with Queens, uh, has recently been opened in New York. Uh, the island of Ile de la Cité in Paris, uh, on which the Notre Dame Cathedral stands. It's much smaller than Manhattan, but but it is reached by as many as nine bridges, including the oldest stone uh, arch pont neuf, uh, coming uh, from the beginning of, of the 17th century. I've already shown it uh, discussing inspirations in the paintings of, of Claude Monet last, last week. Although 
in the time of Napoleon III, the center of the of the island was heavily changed by Baron Haussmann, who was um, uh, responsible for the great reconstruction of, of Paris. Uh, the bridge itself and the access to it were intact, and even the location of, of the main new boulevards in, of Paris was adapted to them. Uh, please know that almost all major agglomerations are crossed by some larger or smaller water obstacle. Today we say uh, they are cut, but the original settlement certainly only started on one side. It was only the construction of the bridge across the river that opened up new spaces for further development. The efficient functioning of, of, of the enlarged urban organism in turn uh, forced the creation of new bridges and, of course, accompanying streets. Um, the construction of infrastructure objects in the city, such as tunnels, uh, allows uh, congested communication routes to be moved underground. New tunnels and underpasses release expansive areas previously occupied by, by wide streets, intersections and viaducts. This happened among others uh, in Katowice, Warsaw, Gdańsk and Krakow. In Krakow, after building another section of city bypass, there will be also uh, a new tunnel. Uh, we will pass almost under the Kościuszka Mount. Um, the roundabout next to Katowice Spodek uh, seems to be just a nightmare for drivers standing in the traffic jams uh, 15 years ago. Uh, moving the main east-west traffic to the tunnel allowed the building of, of the area uh, with attractive facilities, completely changing the character of the place. Uh, in the glass dome, there is the art uh, the gallery of, of the Academy of Fine Arts called Roundabout of Art. Does anyone remember what the center of Gliwice looked like before building the tunnel? Market slums only. Today, today a new open urban space, silence and clearer, cleaner air. There is no need to convince about the importance of the market square for the city's identity. Uh, it has always been a commercial, administrative, social and entertainment center. Uh, try to guess what Polish cities are shown here <laughs> uh, in the free time. Also try to imagine them without, without, your, uh, the, without their main market squares. Uh, nowadays, uh, we associate uh, ma the market, uh, square market, with with integration, cafes and and performances, some restaurants. Mm, uh, in the Middle Ages, uh, such an attraction on the square market was was even behaving with a hangman. Uh, however, uh, these are not so distant times uh, because these traditions were later continued by Germans on Polish square markets here is in, in Bydgoszcz. Unfortunately, not all cities managed to keep this symbol. In the second half of the 20th century, uh, they were uh, mutilated by administrative decisions and uh, stigmatized uh, by socialist ideology. This is what happened, among others, um, with with Khorzhov. The market, the square market, has lost its original functions. In the 70s, it was cut by a flyover, by bridge, which was to be a, a, a solution to traffic problems and the new showcase of, of the city. Meanwhile, uh, we know today that this decision to build this flyover uh, took into account only the interest of the region and was implemented against of Khorzhov inhabitants. And this socialist slogan at Khorzhov town, town Hall uh, s speaks for itself.
we are now we are now living in a picture culture uh, with easily recognizable visual symbols. Uh, they are uh, a characteristic feature or, or a symbol of something important. Until recently, the icon uh, was just a religious image. But now, linguists used this word to describe certain types of signs, those that resemble uh, their content in, in graphical form. In the case of a city, uh, its icon may be a symbol that visually and verbally presents the values and the history of the place. Uh, the role of modern city icons include source of awareness of the city's existence and associations and opinions about it, a means of communication, element of visual identity, or inspiration for the city brand creation strategy. The official symbols include elements such as coat of arms, flag, patron, bulb, call, insignia. By contrast, the unofficial are objects, famous people, business and products, as well as sports and events. The objects are usually characteristics. Uh, characteristic, yes, raz. The objects are usually characteristic buildings or so-called landmarks. They can be castle, churches, monuments, squares, but also bridges. When the Charles Bridge in Prague was built in the Middle Ages, it was probably not thought thought of in, in the category of, of the city's icon. Today, however, this, is, this object, this bridge, has become one of the most recognizable in the world. The same happened with other bridges, which were created much later. Examples include st structures such as the Tower Bridge in London and the Golden Gate Suspension Bridge in San Francisco, two-level Louis I Bridge in Porto, or the Harbour Bridge in Sydney, Rialto Bridge in Venice, or Freedom Bridge in Budapest. Bridges, and mainly pedestrian bridges, have become monuments uh, to the new millennium in many cities around the world, as well as their new landmarks. A great example is the London Millennium Footbridge, inspired probably by space technology. And, and the drawbridge, Gateshead uh, Millennium Bridge, built built uh, built of two arches. A city usually has several icons in the form of distinctive objects. Here we can see them uh, in Paris. It's easily to, very easy to recognize all of them and, and to say, yeah, this is Paris. It may happen that a newly built bridge will push other more deserved icons into the background. Uh, for example, photos of Świętokrzyski Bridge in Warsaw is increasingly moving down other objects on the ranking list of icons of our capital, uh, such as uh, the Palace of Culture, coming from communistic times. And now slightly different effects of, of new bridge construction. UNESCO made a spectacular decision to remove it from the World Heritage List uh, of the Alp Valley in Dresden. Um, this, is, this is the second case in the history of, of this organization, and the reason was the construction of a bridge, which according to officials, uh, obstruct the outstanding and universal values of the landscape of this place. Um, uh, the presence, uh, the presence on this list, is undoubtedly uh, uh, undoubtedly helps to increase the tourist attractiveness of a given region and allows to to raise additional funds for its maintenance. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, in this case of the bridge, has become the reason why perhaps the tourists 
traffic in Dresden will decrease in future. Um, bridges over the centuries, just as today, have always been a marker of progress, some indicator of progress in engineering. Um, the lightest technical material and organizational achievements were used in their construction. Uh, uniqueness and ease, uh, easy of, of de determining the basic parameters characterizing these structures, such as mainly uh, the span or height of the supports and pylons, uh, contributed to inspirational, inspirational competition between, between designers. In the case of city bridges, where the contracting authority, the owner, was not so anonymous, uh, there was an additional factor, namely, namely representativeness. The bridge uh, was to be a show of uh, technical cap possibilities, capabilities and economic potential of the city or region. A lot of bridges, especially urban ones, uh, were in their time either an important breakthrough in engineering or, or beating some record, most of, mostly, mostly span. For example, the arch stone bridge built in the 7th century in China, with its uh, only not impressive span 37 meters, was the longest Chinese arch bridge until the mid 20th century. Uh, while the Manhattan Bridge was the first bridge with a modern suspension system with steel cables, not with chains, which at that time dominated uh, the suspension bridges. Santiago Calatrava, uh, I already mentioned about him uh, uh, in the previous uh, lecture. Santiago Calatrava became the most popular bridge designer whose goal was to create new urban icons or, or landmarks. This combination of uh, aesthetic and reconstruction ideas is visible in his works like, like the Black Hole Place bridge with parted arches or a curved bridge across the river Irwell in Manchester. Uh, many unbeaten world uh, records for years have been recently broken by Chinese constructors, by Chinese engineers. The Lupa Bridge in Shanghai now it has the largest arch span. They, are also had a, uh, they also had uh, the largest span of Cable State Bridge uh, with Sutton Bridge. However, it has already been uh, beaten by Russians, uh, only 16 meters, in the Ruski Bridge in Vladivostok. Also, bridges recently built in Poland are, um, are an attempt to show the technical capabilities and some aspirations of the city region. Uh, of course, this should be considered taking into the account the appropriate proportions resulting from the smaller obstacles uh, we face in our country. Uh, one of the important functions of, of city bridges is to use them for pedestrian traffic. In order for it to run without collision uh, with traffic, special lanes must be, must be uh, up for pedestrians to make them feel safe. Uh, people move on the bridge more slowly than cars, uh, thanks to which uh, they have direct contact with the structure. They can watch them closely and even touch. Uh, this fact uh, is why the designer must show more attention to, to details of, of the bridge. Unlike extra urban bridges, uh, whose main pr purpose uh, is to connect the two points on both sides of the obstacle, uh, city bridges give the designer a lot of opportunities to break with this one-dimensionality. Uh, the bridges are wider. The surface is made of uh, various materials and colors. Supports, railings, details and lighting are being refined. More often, prototype solutions and new material, materials are introduced. While well, in the Middle Ages, uh, when there was a shortage of build-up areas in, in the walled cities that time with defending walls, 
uh, bridges began to to be used and adopted for residential purposes so-called living bridges they were called living bridges uh, they were objects focused on human being and meeting many of his needs in addition to the possibility of going to the to the other side of the river they served various forms of human activity from housing through trade and entertainment to culture and religions religious functions today our residential bridges are living bridges are rather a curiosity all the new futuristic designs uh, of such objects are still emerging only few of them are implemented maybe next bridge next new bridge in london will be just a park bridge the oldest in paris pont neuf was one of the first non-living bridge in the world which which uh, also had separate pavements to protect people from mud and horses as you can see this traffic separation on the city bridge was used a long time ago the brooklyn bridge was even equipped with a special pedestrian deck and the bypasses of the pylons um, uh, were used as a place to present uh, the history of the the history of the bridge the japanese uh, take special care of pedestrians on bridges their city bridges in zones separated uh, for people resemble park alleys every deta detail is important small architecture greenery and lighting lighting make the bridge friendly and suited for the to the human scale uh, busy streets communication junctions and multi-level intersections of numerous rail and roads in cities do not allow for pedestrian traffic these places are completely dehumanized above them unusual pedestrian crossings are built often uh, very refined in terms of aesthetics not only in japan but even in poland here we can see uh, such an unusual footbridge in Rzeszów. Cities uh, lack space uh, for people and uh, bicycles today. Therefore, new pedestrian and bicycle paths began to be formed, which are accompanied by footbridges, often in very attractive forms. Relatively lower loads and uh, footbridge dimensions allow more frequent use of natural materials such as wood or stone and some new structural systems. Such objects uh, become not only a symbol of the city, but a favorite place of, of works for residents, a meeting place which must be seen and photographed. For centuries, the bridge has been an important symbol in many cultures. It is a combination of two words, a connection in time and space. It can mean uh, justice, steadiness, faithfulness, life, danger, trial, change, desire, and mediation. Do you know where I found all these meanings? Green books. Green books are full of translations of the word bridge undoubtedly the bridge belongs to symbolic places if only because it depicts the border zone it is something in between a symbol of division and connection at the same time istanbul istanbul is a city with many symbolic bridges the first association that comes to our minds is of course the locations on the border of two continents Europe and Asia are connected in this city by two suspension bridges Bosphorus Bridge from 1973 and Sultan Mehmed Bridge from 1988 both have spans over a thousand meters 
Between these two bridges is located the richest district of Istanbul, with the highest buildings, residences, business and trade center. However, the, the assumption that the most important function of these bridges is to connect Europe with Asia is a bit misleading. Both bridges are dominated by urban traffic and transit, transit is rather by air or sea. However, uh, the greatest symbolic significance for the talks is another bridge crossing the narrow deep cut Bosphorus Bay known as, uh, as the Golden Horde. It is the Galata Bridge, which has its long and turbulent history full of symbols. It also found a place in the Turkish books and arts. The first mention of this bridge dates back to the 6th century and the period of the reign of Emperor Justinian. Uh, it was also used during the capture of Constantinople by Ottoman Empire troops. Today's bridge is a symbolic link between the traditional Muslim side of, of Istanbul with the palace and mosques and the Galata district inhabited by businessmen and diplomats who do not identify with Islam. From the border between Europe and Asia, we will now move to our southern border, to Cheshen, where the flowing the Olza River divides the city into two parts, Polish and Czech. In place of today's castle bridge, the river was crossed already in, in the 14th century. In 1938, the armed Polish forces uh, used the bridge during the takeover of Zaolzie. Well, l less than a year later, on the first day of the Second World War, uh, it was blown up by Polish troops escaping from a German invader. Today there are two bridges in the city, Friendship and Freedom. Uh, both have become uh, symbols of the division between so-called friendly coexisting socialist, socialist nations. Uh, for many Poles, uh, uh, customs control uh, on them left unpleasant memories for years, even me. Uh, since, since the accession of both countries to Schengen area, uh, the barriers have disappeared. Uh, and the bridges again playing their primary role as a link between the two nations. The city itself also uh, benefits from this opening. The Euro region operating there uh, prepared a few years ago a uh, project uh, called, titled uh, Garden of Two Banks, or Two Banks of the River, in which both of bridges uh, play one of the main uh, one of the main roles. Between them, a new pedestrian footbridge was planned. It was designed by the French architect Francois Rocher, and was called Loophole. Looping trap connecting two parts of the city, difficult past, hesitating if I should leave the country, emigrant status. This is only part of what the designer wanted to say us um, w with his vision. Uh, because the concept turned out to be too difficult and expensive to implement, uh, to construct, it was never constructed. Uh, the bridge on the Hungarian-Slovak border had a more difficult history. Uh, it is the Mary Valery Bridge on the Danube in Estergom. This small town was the first capital of Hungary till the 13th century, as Gniezno for us. Uh, the crossing of, of the Danube uh, in this place was already used by Roman legends. The permanent bridge in its more than 100 years of history uh, was destroyed twice. For the first time in 1919, and by soldiers of the Soviet Republic of Hungary. I'm not sure if you know that Hungary for a short period was a part of Soviet Union. 
for the second time by Germans. German soldiers, 1944, escaping from uh, Soviets. Difficult relations between the socialist governments of Hungary and Czechoslovakia at that time did not favor the reconstruction of the bridge. The 100th uh, anniversary of the bridge construction became a pretext to restore a permanent connection between Hungary and Slovakia in this place. In 2001, um, a reconstructed bridge was officially opened. For many years, for many years, it was kept destroyed just to divide, not to connect. An even more dramatic example that can be much closer to us in time, of course, is the history of the old bridge on the Redfa river in Mostar. It is a very old structure that still remembers the Ottoman Empire from the late 16th century. During the last war in Bosnia, it was destroyed by, by Croatian tanker. It was undoubtedly the act of killing memory. Uh, groups of Croats, Bosnians and Serbs of various denominations live in the city. Catholics, Orthodox, Muslims. The bridge was rebuilt in 2004 and again has the chance to connect, not to divide. And Bosnians can traditionally jump from the bridge to the icy water of Noretva. Finally, what happens in a situation where the bridge has only, has only one communication function? Then it becomes either completely non-attractive and often unnoticeable by users, or completely dehumanized. There is no place for others except for road services and bridge inspectors. In the first case, uh, these are usually bridges located outside the city center, on some bypasses or industrial areas, industrial zones. The structure is usually simple and construction costs are the very basic criterion for design. Uh, in the centers of the largest city, cities, uh, built-up areas are usually so expensive that there is no more space for new streets. Avoiding numerous obstacles in the form of the existing layout of streets and tracks, underground facilities and even entire buildings often requires the use of very unusual shapes and supports. Strange situations often arise which will probably be more and more in our cities. Let's, let's have a summary of, of today's lecture. Um, as, the, as the examples show, uh, bridges can change the urban order and perception of a city. These changes uh, may vary depending on the functions the bridge performs. Uh, by connecting two sides of an obstacle, which could be a river or a railway line, it facilitates communication and becomes a link uh, between previously separated places. Uh, the latest uh, technical and material solutions are often harnessed to implement such a task. Usually, uh, the structure becomes a, re uh, becomes a presentation of the, of the region's capabilities and, and potential. Uh, the bridge, being already in the new space, contributes to the to the image uh, of the area and sometimes can become a very clear and recognizable uh, city icon or a landmark. One should not forget about another equally important function. It must be it must be pedestrian friendly for all city residents and tourists. Finally, Finally, it can be concluded that the highest level of, of bridge engineering, which could be called sometimes uh, as a bridge art, uh, particularly in the field of urban bridges, uh, should be the coexistence of all the today mentioned functions.
Thank you very much for your attention. See you next week.